Hi everyone, this is my third attempt making this video because the Wi-Fi on this um, in this office it does not really uh, work well. So I've um, I'm on my mobile, <laughs> so I'm, I have about ten minutes before my clients, and um, this is where I see clients. This is another one of the room. This is called lavender. And uh, yeah, of course, I'm sitting on a chair and just waiting for them and decided to make this short video. So earlier uh, this morning, I made another video on uh, uh, how I healed the perfectionist in myself and uh, began to uh, set certain rules for myself so that I, I, I stop being a perfectionist and be so critical, so hard on myself, so much so that I, I I lost energy and didn't want to run workshops anymore. So I set up some rules uh, about how I should navigate uh, my work and how that changed the way I saw myself and also the way I work. So in this video, I want to talk about uh, digging into your why. And it's linked to the video that I already made just now. So if you can just... Scroll down if you're on Facebook, on my Facebook page, you can see the video that I made earlier today. It's related to what I'm talking about now. Okay, so uh, previously when I first started my practice and probably still happens, is sometimes I put out a workshop and nobody signs up. And sometimes uh, one person signs up. And when one person signs up for your workshop, uh, you don't charge this person more. You, It's not fair because that's not the agreement of the workshop so a lot of people what they do when they put out a workshop and nobody signs up for it or very few people sign up for it is sometimes they cancel it and in the 10 years that I've been uh, running my practice I'm a relationship and sex counselor in the 10 years that I've been running my practice I've cancelled workshop less than five times and um, uh, this is because I really don't want to disappoint people who have the courage block out their time to come for my workshop and the reason is because I, I, I ask myself, you know, am I doing this uh, for the money or am I doing this to help people? People who sign up may not come back again. You lose, you lose a connection, you lose a, a, a budding relationship that you have with somebody who genuinely may need help when they sign up for, for your, your workshop. So um, often, I, I don't cancel, I still run the workshop, even if it's one person, as long as I can cover cost, uh, meaning cost of the venue, not even my time, the venue. Uh, so as long as I can cover, I would, I would still run the workshop. So um, what I want to say is, uh, in the last few years uh, that I've been in practice, you know, been, been in practice for 10 years, uh, now I have competitors coming up, people who uh, say they teach Tantra and claim to be sex educators and sex coaches, but really they haven't had a lot of training. If you have a Tantra certificate, of course, doesn't make you a, a com a, like um, enough information to call yourself a sex educator, sex counselor. They have very little um, training. I have had a lot of training, a lot. Um, I have a doctorate in human sexuality, certificates in counseling, coaching, sex therapy. I have also a master's in counseling, and I've also taken tantra training. So I know how tant uh, tantra uh, approaches uh, sex problems. Uh, that's not to say that um, uh, tantricas cannot help, but to say that the education is not comprehensive. So anyway, in the last few years. I have so-called competitors coming up, and it's it's fine, you know. Uh, to me, it actually gives me more freedom and liberation. It actually makes me um, happy to have all these people come up because it gives me freedom to really pursue what I really want to pursue uh, in terms of the trainings and offerings that I have, um, and uh, really um, uh, not not be so concerned about. Uh, the the kind of messages I'm putting out because if all of us put out different kinds of messages relating to uh, positive sexuality and relating, then it's really good. So then I dig deeper into 
uh, who am I, what I want to offer, um, what, what, I, uh, what I want to do, how I want to differentiate myself. So um, relating to the previous video, uh, what I want to um, share is when I started to offer these kinds of uh, my workshops and sometimes get very few or little responses is I, uh, I still run them. And uh, I can think very negatively about um, the sign up for my workshops. Like, oh, you know, um, nobody likes me. <laughs> nobody wants to uh, sign up. Uh, uh, people are cheap. Uh, you can have all kinds of negative thinking into like, oh, people don't care about their personal lives. Or people, uh, uh, people are too busy in Singapore to bother. So you can go into all kinds of negative thinking. And uh, when I choose to honor their, their participation, their commitment, the money that they have already put in to sign up for the workshop and still run it, I ask myself, um, you know, good job, you know, good job for even uh, doing it, even for one person. Good job for staying focused on the goal, on helping people. Uh, and I thank myself for uh, showing up and being committed to my craft and doing my best even if there's one person who signs up for my workshop. And um, I, I, I just feel that sometimes when we, when we put out something and it doesn't give us the response that we want, yes, um, it drains our energy. We should do our best to, and our best work to uh, put out our best work and then promote our work and uh, get back the echo from the universe. And um, when what comes for from the universe is not what you had wanted uh, to still say, I put it out and this is what the universe gave me and I'm going to honor it. I'm going to honor the people who have stepped forward. I'm going to still run it. For That's how I feel. And I would still do it as long as I can cover cost. And just now I mentioned cost as in the venue cost. And what I do is instead of thinking negatively, uh, all the things that I just mentioned, uh, nobody likes me, nobody likes my message, nobody likes uh, not ready for my training, people are too busy, too cheap, whatever, all this negative thinking. Instead of going there, which I have, trust me, I have, instead of going there, what I can do is flip it into something more positive, into uh, this is a test of my commitment to my craft. And I'm going to show up bravely. And why am I doing it? If, if I told the universe that, hey, I'm here, I'm committed to helping people, then you have one person who sign up, help that person. If you said that this is why you're doing this work and one person shows up, then serve that one person with your, with your heart, with your best. And uh, that's how I, I frame it in my head. That's how I frame it so that uh, instead of it being a negative, it becomes a positive. And um, this person who comes may or may not have gratitude. And it's up to me. It's up to me to acknowledge myself for showing up. It's up to me to praise myself, to pat myself on the back, to celebrate. Um, and take that as a, as a teachable moment to explore. Uh, why am I doing this work again? Uh, and it has happened to me many times when I've questioned myself many, many times. Why am I doing this again? If you say you want to help people, help people. If you say you, you want to love through your actions and your work, then do it. Do it. Don't just say you're going to do it. Do it. And so over the years, what has happened is uh, through this commitment and recommitment and recommitment to my work, um, it's given me this drive to, you know, I don't even ask why I'm doing this anymore. Because I've asked this hundreds, thousands of times, why? And then I just do, I just do, I just do, I just do. And um, it's not just do, of course. <laughs> you do and you reflect and you feel, you know, it needs to feel good. So this is the reason why I'm uh, going to put out different kinds of offerings very soon. And uh, I have different kinds of workshops. Uh, some workshops not even relating to sexuality per se. Some on like learning to heal your negative emotions or heart pain. 
because I believe that uh, to be healthy, functional people, we need to be looking at multiple dimensions of, of a person. And a lot of people see me as some, somebody who is very intellectual because I have four degrees and many trainings. And, um, you know, there is also discrimination by, by people who, who's, who, who come across people who have a lot of trainings, is that they think they only come from hate space. Um, because I'm also a spiritual person, so the kind of workshops that I offer uh, reflect who I am. And uh, they need to give me joy. So digging into your why is very important. So when I have so-called competitors come out, I actually feel a sense of excitement and liberation and happiness because if all of us are doing uh, different things, uh, putting out different messages to serve different kinds of people, then um, uh, maybe if nobody signs up for my workshop or one person signs up for my workshop, it invites me to go deeper into um, is what I'm doing effective? Is this still serving people? Uh, besides the money, is this um, is this still what I really want to do? And if it's uh, if it's it's if it's not, then there's a chance for me to grow and to tweak things, so that it's more in in a resonance with who I am and what I want to offer. And um, so this is what I want to say about digging deep into your why, because your why would would determine whether um, even in tough um, situations. You can still grow deeper, deeper. Uh, your roots grow deeper. This sucks. People not coming from my workshop. Why am I doing this? You go deeper into into uh, loving uh, yourself, loving your work, recommitting to your work. And I think this is what happens with uh, some of the people who've come through Singapore. Uh, you know, like offer workshops, it's not happening, Singapore's not ready, whatever, come up with excuses, and I leave. Um, I call this shit in my country. Um, people who um, people who uh, call themselves sex coaches and then for a while suddenly disappear because uh, something more exciting, more easy uh, comes up for them to make money. So I've been around for a very, very long time. I've been doing uh, what I've been doing for a very long time, 10 years. I haven't, I haven't gone away, even though there has been a lot of difficulties and challenges. I haven't gone away because I'm not just doing this um, for what people think I'm doing it for, fame or fortune. I'm doing this because I genuinely love what I'm doing and I love helping people. And this is my calling, this is my passion. Uh, yeah, I think my client's here. So yeah, finish this video. Thanks for watching.